Hello everyone, this is Bandi and welcome back to my channel VFX Factory. So today we are going to take a little bit new step towards the VFX and that is 3D camera tracker. Yes guys, it's available in all version of After Effects. You can see there is an option inside the perspective 3D camera tracker. So using that tool, we are going to create this one guys. You can use this tool and create various types of VFX work. And this is the first step towards the VFX. So without much further delay, let's get started. So welcome to the magical world of After Effects guys. So go to the project panel, press Ctrl I to import the footage. I am selecting this footage guys, download it from the Google and drag this to the composition panel. You can see there is a timeline created when I dragged it. So this video you can see this is going forward. It's a normal video, a normal footage. You, you can take any kind of footage. So I am going to trim this footage guys because it's so long and it will take lots of time so I'm going to take this 10 second only so trim this okay so this is our 10 second footage now I'm going to add 3d camera tracker before that you need to do it from quarter to full so that it can analyze this at high quality press 3d camera tracker at the effect panel and go to advance and add details analysis it will take some time guys let's wait for a few moment after the tracking process you can see lots of points are there guys from first frame to last frame you can see lots of tracking points and that will help you track anything place any object inside the footage so now we will create a solid here to set the ground plane first so first I'm going to take some points to create the ground plane I'm going to take this this and this one see guys I'm going to create this the ground plane and again right click and solidate camera okay and this is not uh, exactly as the perspective so i'm going to adjust little bit let's rotate this one go to the rotation okay it's fine now you can see guys it's moving as our footage guys this is all what i want to tell you so you can see this is moving according to the footage so let's close this panel and you can make lots of solid here guys lots of solid as much as you can like hundred thousand one lakh <laughs> lots of solid you can make this or anywhere anywhere you can create this but it's not necessary not necessary for today's video today today i am going to uh, tell you only about the just a briefly explain about the 3d camera tracker okay you can see this is moving according to the footage you can make anywhere guys anywhere In coming tutorial we will tell more briefly explanation about this one so this is not necessary this much tracking solids are not necessary so let's delete this so now I will add some text here to show you how it's moving according to the footage so press P to open the position panel inside the solid and take the text layer and write anything you want write anything like I'm writing this 3d tracking, 3D tracking. and center it like here that's okay now now make it 3d layer 
and press P. Let's position it at the right place. Let's rotate it a little bit. And then we will go to the track solid and press P for the position. We will add this its position with the track solid position. Okay. So press P and link this with the position panel of the solid and you can see guys it's moved move to the so position of the that solid okay now let's hide the solid layer to see how it's working you can see guys it's moving perfectly as we want okay you can do it yourself so let's work with the 3d tracking layer and uh, let's scale it and position it perfectly i'm moving this anchor point little bit and i will scale it little bit larger okay let's see guys yes that's it We will learn more about the 3D object inside the After Effect. If we can add the 3D object inside this. So now I'm going to add the image. Let's take this one. I have this After Effect logo. I'm going to add this. So let's take it to the timeline and make it 3d let's position it and link it to the solid position okay and let's adjust this one first hide the 3d tracking if you can if you want then hide or not okay let's rotate this and position this one the G position like this and let's scale this little bit and hide this one to see how it's working it's, it's little bit not moving as the footage so now it's so so we learn the what learn the thing what I wanted to tell you today's video so this is for today's video guys you can see it's working properly with the footage so this is for today's video guys if you learn something from my video please give a like and what you learn from this video or any of my video please write down inside the comment section below till then bye bye